not only the beauty, but the, the fact that they're both so funny. Like just looking at them, you'd be like, well, they can't do comedy. Joke's on you, they can do everything. Hey everyone, it's Mira Mangle. And Chloe Curiosity. And welcome to another Mangle morning. Woo! <laughs> Chloe, how are you? I'm great. I'm feeling my rainbow leopard fantasy. I love it. This is like a classic Chloe look to me. Funny story, this bodysuit, I used to wear this all the time, and then the zipper broke. And just the other day, I decided, I'm gonna bring this back to life and fix the zipper. So. Look at God. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like, you have to be in the right mood to fix it. Yes, okay. for so long I was like, you know, that's too much work. But then it was just the right moment. You You're know? like, why didn't I do this so long? Yes. Ago? No. And also I'm loving your look today. I don't know what's happening with me today. <laughs> How I feel about no, it. I'm loving this short hair. Today we're talking about ages, and I feel like we're giving two different. We're giving the different. <laughs> yes, we're going to give you the spectrum today. <laughs> I love so it. So today we're going to be talking about every winner of Drag Race, including international all stars, all of them. We're going to be talking about every single winner, but yes. we're going to be talking about them, the age they were when they won. So the point in doing this is to one, just to see if we see any trends, because we're going to see some fun trends in here. Yes. Uh, but also we'll look at the remaining contestants on season 15 to see who's most likely to win if they fall into any of the areas where we have a lot of winners. Because there's weird random ages where we'll have a ton of winners. Yes. And hey, guess what? Maybe if one day you go on, you can see how likely you'll win if yes. you can fall into a certain... Gra uh, if I'm in the age bracket. range. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're in the right age range to win. <laughs> but before we get started, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content you can't see on YouTube. Plus, you're helping support the channel. Now, you can also support the channel by tipping on Vimbor Cash App like these fine folks did. Big shout out to our buddy Nick G who said that... Oh, I gotta take a breath. <laughs> Big shout out to our buddy Nick G who said that our, the videos always put him in such a good mood and we should do a video about best and worst cosplay runways. Oh, Ooh. I like that. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a ton because the US plays it real safe for like- Yeah, they don't like it whenever they do too yeah. cost to me. But, but there mean, has been some. I was gonna say with the amount of years we've had it in right. franchises, we could probably- Even on this better. season alone, I feel like there's been a few. Has there? Or just like references, maybe not exactly interpretations, interpretations. fully, but like... Not cosplay, yeah. but interpretations. Yeah. yeah. Also, big shout out to Lexi D, who said that they had major traveling delays last week, and that our videos helped put their anxiety at ease. I love that. Aww. I love anytime people say, like, yeah, we put them in a good mood, or we help them yeah, in some type of way. that's sweet. It is very sweet. And then finally, Dre is very, very sweet as well. He said, tip and just a tip. We I love that. that too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I love that too. Yeah. Like you don't always have to have a story to tell me. Yeah. Just tip it a tip. It's nice. <laughs> Check out Marissa and their Mirror Mangle shirt. Yes. She's on the pole and she called, I never heard about this. She might've made it up, but a pole fit. Oh, like, oh, it's okay. A perfect pole fit. So like an outfit. But I love that. For the pole. She's slaying. I love her. She actually came to our last Bimbo Vision show. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's super sweet. I love her. Nice. You can get that at dragqueenmerch.com. Send us your photos, and you'll be featured in a video. We should get a pole up in here. Right. We could be doing some tricks. We'll have Marissa come show us some tricks. <laughs> <laughs> the only winner we'll see on this list twice will be Jinx Monsoon. Okay. And beyond Broadway, because she's about to wrap up her time in Chicago, she has announced a new tour that she's going to do with a live band, which is a different type of tour that she's not really done before. Like, normally her okay. and Dela do their plays together. Right. This time she's doing, like, a rock show. I know. Band. I was like, I saw the tours. I'm, like, sad she's not coming to St. Louis. But nobody ever does. Oh, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's not, not as often but as But I'm like, might. I would maybe travel to Chicago to see, like... <laughs> well, Scarlett and I were just randomly right before this came out, we're talking about how we've always wanted to go to Toronto. It's a two-hour flight, Ooh. nonstop, and it's, the flights are really cheap. Like, you can get there uh, cheaper than, like, Los Angeles. What? And when this came out, that I was would like, be a fun oh, trip. we might have to go to Toronto to see Oh, her. so she's going there? So, yeah. Okay, that would be fun. Because it's cheap, easy, like, it'd be cheaper right. than... It'd be cheaper than Chicago. Probably, sh yeah, Chicago's expensive. So let's get into our list, and I thought we should start off with the youngest and work our way up, don't okay. you think? Or yeah, I agree. would you rather start off with the oldest? No, I like that. Okay. We'll, we'll age our way up. So we'll, <laughs> we'll start off, yeah, we'll start off looking, girls looking like Chloe, and they'll end up looking like me. <laughs> First on our list at 19 years old is Crystal Versace, our youngest winner ever. Yes. UK season three. Here in the US, you can't even get on until you're 21. So that alone. That is crazy, like, to think. I wonder why, like, the difference is, like, why they allowed that in like the other yeah, I'm not franchises. sure because I feel like all, almost all international franchises have you know 18, 19 year olds huh? sponsored by like the absolute, but you, like I don't know if you know there's probably weird laws, rules that, like yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. And also to be fair, it's very rare that someone who's 18, 19 is 
usually very good at drag at the, race. At that level of yeah, because you're yeah. so young, right? But Crystal was ready. Clearly, she was. She gives those kids. She hope. slayed it. I mean, she really did. She's more polished and more put together than some forty year old drag right. race. Right, like, for real. Like she has it together. And she like was one of Rue's favorites. Like you could just tell. Oh. <laughs> From, like, Rue loved her. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was the first person, I think, Rue said, you were born to do drag. Yes, she did. Yeah. Over and over again. No one at 20. They were moving on to 21. Okay. One of our first winners ever, Tyra Sanchez, season two. And then Aquaria, season 10 winner. Wow, yeah. Well, 21 years old. It's crazy to think that Tyra was 21. Like, I don't know why, but just think, looking back, I felt like she was a little older than that. Because but... the level of polish right. was just there. She was just already so good. She never faltered on the runway. Yeah. Ever. Aquaria oh, yeah. either, honestly. Aquaria, too. Yeah. Yeah, like her runways were amazing all throughout. I feel like Aquaria had like personality growth throughout the season, but Tyra was, I mean, she had her, well, because her I, thing, but. <laughs> I think because Tyra comes across more confident yeah. at all times. Yeah. And plus the level she delivers. I think with Aquaria, She's just as confident and and really good, except for the talking bits. You remember, that's right. when you could see that she was younger. When it was like the acting and stuff, it yeah. was, yeah. Or the, even the walkthroughs with Rue, she'd get a little nervous. Yeah. 22 years old, she never gets nervous, and she has a lot to say as well. That, Violet Chachki. That's crazy that she was 22, and she was so confident, yeah. like, and just did not care. And she's, <laughs> she's still the same person. She is, like, that she's is just her. Cat. I love it. <laughs> Own who and, you are. Yeah, regardless of personality. Because, honestly, even Crystal had some moments with, Victoria Scone early on, but she she received them very well and understood. She took them as lessons to learn. Right. Um, Violet also has n- never been afraid to say what she wants to say. Yeah. And yeah, with all these younger queens, you can see a trend of maybe being more um, divisive in terms of if you like them. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. But you can't deny that the drag is not together right. and perfected. Like the personality might have been a bit much at times, but like the looks were always amazing. Their drag is drag perfection. Yes. 23 years old, another UK winner. So we've already out of our UK winners, we've had a lot of really young ones. It is Lawrence Cheney. Lawrence Cheney. This is honestly like shaking me to my core that these people are all so young. Well, yeah, like, you wouldn't have guessed that? I, like, I don't know why, but Lawrence Cheney to me seemed at least like 25. Like Because she had that together. Yeah, like I don't, she was, she just is poly- like really good polished drag. Especially on season 15, because we'll get to that at the end, that I was stunned by the ages. Yeah. Stunned. Lawrence, yeah, because she has everything developed. That's the thing. And she kind of just has that older queen vibe to her, like not in a bad way. In like a, In a motherly way. Yes. Well, because she was paired up, her little sister was Ellie Diamond, so she was like big sis to her. Right. Because Ellie was even younger. So good at drag already. Imagine in a couple years, like where they right. be. It's just crazy. And she won, so like... <laughs> right, she don't have anything else to prove, but she can prove more. <laughs> the world is her oyster. 24 years old, we've got Evie Oddly, and then over on Drag Race Thailand, it is Angeline. Yes. Our first trans winner. And then Evie, just, yeah, a different type of winner, but just Brought so, so much, creative. Yes, so much difference to, like, the winning spot. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, that look for her finale when she did the mirrors with the, like that was so creative and out of the box. Didn't she do the three boobs, like the gown or something? Oh no, it was the Oh three. yeah, yeah, no, the gown. And then yes. she had three eyes and three too. eyes. And then three only eyes. three fingers. Yes. <laughs> I was like, a couple people have done three boobs, so it's yeah. like... <laughs> I think she was the first. She the was show. the first. And it was the best, I think, the best payoff of all, all that, but... <laughs> no offense to another winner coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Ooh, oh, oh she, wait. <laughs> she was in the bottom that week. <laughs> she was not ever afraid of getting into it with the other girls, and not afraid of how she comes across, yeah. either. Like, she wasn't delicate with it. <laughs> right. She, she right owned in. it. We've had art queens, we've had spooky queens winners, but she combines them all in a good way. Yeah. That's, like, much needed in the drag race. And she was so, like, real personality. Yeah. Like, just herself. 25 years old, we've got the first time Jinx Monsoon won in season 5, yes. Simone, season 13, and Blue Hydrangea, one of our three-boobed girls. Yes. She was in the bottom that week. Oh, I forgot that's who who I was do the three boobs. Okay, yes. Uh, but she won UK vs. The World. All three of them have their personas so well-defined. But Simone, out of the three, like their first time around, never faltered in terms of like yeah. having it a clear vision. And just, oh yeah, she came with crazy. the full package. She really did, which is crazy. And Blue really did when she came back for first the world. Like she it was, was ready so to good. Win. And then I mean Jinx, she's like the original underdog. Yes. Like we, you fell in love with her as a person right away. Right. Even when her drag was crunchy. Yeah. Because her personality excused it all. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Like, it it was, yeah, above and beyond. How old are you right now? 
I'm 25. So this oh. would be my grouping. <laughs> well, no, because if, if you got on by the time... It would be 26, 26, probably. So this next one is your group. Oh, okay. Let's see. 26, the Vivian oh. in Willow Hill. Okay. Our first winner of UK and our most recent winner of the US. I don't know why, but it's a shocking age for me for both of them. Like, well, no, it's not. I guess well I'm not, but the Vivian kind of seemed maybe a little older even. Like uh huh. Just like what we're talking about with Lawrence and the level of polish. Yeah. Is so And she done. just like you could feel like she's been doing drag for a while, like Right. How old were you when you started drag? Nineteen. Nineteen? Yeah. I mean it's twenty twenty four. I'm like, I don't even... <laughs> no, that's not right. I would be 20, maybe. 19 or 20? So yeah. So you've already put in a lot of good years. Yeah, I mean, it's been five years. I started when I was 27. So yes. I started drag later than any of the people on the list so far. You know <laughs> before, what I mean? Yeah, before, yeah. <laughs> 27, this is so funny. Our 27 queen is solo, and she's also the only person to ever win, ever, and never win a maxi challenge. It is Electra oh Bionic gosh. from Drag Race Italy season one. Come on, 27. Achieve something that no one else right? has ever been able to do. Yeah. To never win the a challenge. The only 27. <laughs> I'm just and, that, and that too. <laughs> the two, only 27. Now two things. <laughs> But she is stunningly beautiful. Oh, yeah. So gorgeous. gorgeous. And she seems like, based on what we saw on the show, she seems like so warm and friendly and lovely. Yes. And this, again, I guess maybe we're going to get to those age ranges where it's like, it's not a shock. But right. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't really shock me. Yeah. Next, four queens at 28 years old. Our first winner ever, BB. Then two of our all-star winners, Trixie Mattel and Monet Exchange. And our first winner of Canada. Priyanka, okay. all 28 years old. You know, we were talking about earlier this week the similarities between Trixie and Monet. They both placed sixth on their original season, then came back and won All-Stars. They are both exactly they're the, the same age. That's crazy. For me, BB seemed a little older, too. And because maybe that's just her her persona. Because of the regal yes. opulence. For Trixie and Monet, it makes sense to me around that age, you yeah. know. But... Priyanka, I, I don't know. I could, I thought it maybe a little younger than that. She does, yeah. I would, but I think I that's just her outgoingness. Right. Like, <laughs> If I would have guessed, I would have said younger. Then, 29 years old, season four winner. And then we've got Bob the Drag Queen, season eight. Season nine, so two years in a row, Sasha Velour. And then the most recent UK winner, it's Danny Beard. So we've already okay. gotten all of our UK winners out the way. They're all young. Oh. Um. Not a single person has ever won UK <laughs> being over 30. <laughs> That is crazy. Isn't that crazy? That is. Well, this newest season That's was sad. the first time they ever let anyone over 35 on. Well, they need so. to mix that up. <laughs> Hopefully they continue to do so. We've got a lot of iconic folks here. That first is. First bearded winner ever. And right. then Bob the Drag Queen is just one of the Slays. ultimates. Yeah. The art queen herself. Yeah. And then she The shoot. Rose Paddles. <laughs> right. Most of these queens are still out there killing it and are still at the top of their games. I yeah. mean, Danny was very recent. Oh, yes. But like Bob and Sasha, they're to the point now where... You know, you got to really work to keep it up, and yeah. they're both doing it. They Sasha's, are. Sasha's, I think she's coming out with a book. I just saw, and it looked really pretty. She, like, put a video, and I was like, I kind of want it. I don't know how much it is, but it looked gorgeous. And, I mean, Bob does everything. <laughs> Actually, Bob's I, slaying it. Like, <laughs> right. You don't need us to sit here and tell The fact that Bob's she's going it. on tour with Madonna. Actually, today, I'm wearing, on my eyelid, the shadow I'm wearing is from Bob's Bob and Monet's palette. Oh! It's a pretty color. It's like a green. Yes, I like that. Next, 30 years old, we've got two of our all-star winners. And then from France, Paloma, season one winner. So Alaska and Shay are two all-star winners. Okay. Alaska and Shay were both the ones where when you see the cast, you're like, oh, well, they're going to win. Oh, yeah. Like, they are the name. That is and so true. Happened. And then they, they pulled it out and slayed the whole season. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I mean, it was undeniable. Paloma, I think, is just such a good. You love to have, like, the first winner of a franchise, the first season be, like, encompassing of the culture, but the most polished, best version of that. And Paloma right. definitely was. I really that. liked her. I remember watching She set that. the standard. Yes. And she was really good. 31. These, like, if I could be in any grouping, I'd be with these two bitches. Yes. 31 is Envy Peru, Holland's first winner, and the first winner of España. It is Carmen for Lala. Bitch. Like, these are stunning. two of the best winners in Drag Race history. They were, and, like, so stunning. Like. <laughs> right. Not only the beauty, but the, the fact that they're both so funny. Like, just looking at them, you'd be like, well, they can't do comedy. Joke's on you. They can do everything. And I love a queen that's, like, gorgeous, but then can just make you crack up. Yes. Like. <laughs> these are, honestly, yeah, two of the ultimate winners of all the winners. Too. Yes, I love it. Next, 32 years old, the only 32-year-old winner is okay. Jada Essence Hall. Okay, Jada. I'll buy her lonesome. And she also has the parallel of being the only winner to win from home. That's true. Another 
individual her moment. Her crowning from home. Mm -hmm. Is that she, like a fake crown that they put on her? Yes. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's what I, they didn't even send out a crown to, you know, in case one of them won. They should have, well, you think that they would have. <laughs> right. Nope. Now I think what we're seeing is like the level of beauty and polish is just beyond. It is. It's like. Like Jada fits in with the last group of girls. Right. Like, like the polish is just. Ooh. And she's so stunning. You can just tell she's been doing drag for a while. Like she just slays it every time. And confident in her own skin. Yes. Since we've been in the 30s. They just don't ever really seem to falter because they're so confident in who they are. And I think that is like with Which age, so, you develop that more. Exactly. So, like you can't just have that. Yeah. You, you learn that over time. Right. Moving on to 33, we've got three winners. Trinity the Took, yeah. Jinx Monsoon her second time, and then Giselle Lullaby. Okay. I didn't realize Giselle was 33. I don't know why, but she seemed a little older to me too. <laughs> Maybe I'm just yeah. like... <laughs> well, with Trinity... Not to be rude or I mean, she'd probably make the same joke, but it's hard to know what age she is. Yeah. Because it's, uh, you know. Yeah, I yeah I would have no clue with Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's iconic for Jinx is, like, Jinx has won Drag Race twice now before 40 years old. You know. That is pretty crazy. Cra it is crazy to think about, because it sounds wrong, but she's the only person ever to win twice. It almost seems like it should have happened before. That is, yeah. But she, she's the first. Every time Trinity's been on, she, her brand has been so well-defined. Yeah. She knows her character. She knows what she can do and what she can't do. Right. And knows exactly how to work that for the challenges. She's really good at drag race. Like, I she feel is, like yeah. she's just, like, knows the... Master drag race. Yeah. You're right. She really has. And Jinx is just a master of drag. Yes. She is the supreme for a reason. Oh, like, yeah. She really is that girl. She's just so... Funny. Because, like, in, I mean, she still has her weak areas, but that's, which is designing looks. Right. But that's also, like, endearing. Yeah. You know? Like, no one wants someone that's perfect at everything. Yes. You, you know? like someone who's gets a little vulnerable. Yeah. Whenever you're this amazing actress and, all, like, good at all these other things, like, I don't care that she can't sew the best dress in the world. You know what I mean? Like, right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I'm here to, like, I'm... I'm going to go to a Jinx show and be entertained. I don't even really right. care what she's wearing. Yeah, because I know that she's going to slay it. And Giselle was so important for Canada because it was their first French-Canadian winner. Yeah, like They were really hungry for that. And yes. she provided that as a, a human being. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> she is that. She she was. It's like I'm trying to use extra words to make it sound like it's <laughs> <Interesting>. something. <laughs> like something more than what I'm just saying. <laughs> I could have just said she's the first French Canadian winner. But I'm like <laughs> trying to be dramatic, I guess. Moving on, 34 years old, we've got Ketamine and Isis Couture. Ketamine, of course, the first winner of Down yes. Under. Yes. And then Isis, the second winner of Canada. Um, can we just talk about how they're both kind of serving in the same kind of look? Right. Ice like an white. ice queen look. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, they match. The These, 34 year And all the pictures are their crowning pic like when they're holding the scepter. The oh, okay. Crown, the crowning so it just happened to be. They happen to have that. I love that. And both happen to be 34. And honestly, both of them slayed. I've said before, I didn't really watch the first season of um, Down, Under. Down Under, but I've seen clips and things. I think she rightly won. Very lovable. And like, very, I thought she was very funny, loved her. And of course, Isis is just incredible. Isis is very lovable Like too. seeing her on Versus the World, like that was such a treat. Looking at their looks, it almost looks like Isis could have been making out with Kita because of her blue lips. <laughs> and, and it like came up. <laughs> I love it. 35, these are two very recent winners. Our first winner of the Philippines, it is Precious Paula Nicole. And then the most recent winner of Italia, season two, it is La Diamond. Okay. The consistent thing we're seeing here is the polish and the, the quality is just like, they are next level. But then they're also so endearing and lovable. Right. As we keep going up, it's like, well, they have everything. Right. They have everything. And I think about that, like, I mean, as you get older, you get more comfortable with who you are, so then you're, of course, going to be more comfortable in front of the camera. I do feel like, like, as we're getting, going down, like, all the international franchises that are, yeah. that are the older queens. Like, I don't know, like, not that, like, 35 is old, but, like, like it's get, race, as it's it getting older, like, yeah. it's not, like, we're not seeing, I don't know if there's more to come from the U.S., but... There are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, well, we talked about U.K., yeah. They don't even cast people. Right. Five. 36 years old, we've got okay. Raja, season three, and Raja O'Hara. I didn't even realize that. They're both Raja. Oh, my gosh. I could have just said that. 36 is the year of Raja. Clearly. <laughs> How crazy. I didn't even notice that putting this together. Wait, is that from her Raja's first season? The yeah. This is all from when they won. So she was 36 when she won the first time. That is crazy to me. I didn't really. I don't know why I just thought she was younger. Wait, that was both their first seasons? Or no, that was Raja? No, this is when they won. So they're all when they won. 
Okay. So Raj is okay. 36 right now because okay. she just won Canada versus the world. You're right. So okay. That's why when we looked at Jinx, she was on here twice. That we makes looked sense. at when she won and then when she won the second time. Okay. So it's all their crowning year. It's just weird to me that I didn't notice that as I was making it. Like I have to sit here live <laughs> on air, you know, and then realize it. Next, 37. So you probably thought we were done with like large groups. 37 is one of the top groups in terms of winning Drag Race. Bianca okay. Del Rio, season six. Natalia, first season of Thailand. And then Kylie Sneak Love, All-Star 6 winner, and Spanky Jackson from Down Under Season 2. Yes, Spanky. Yeah, come through with Down Under being a franchise that's crowns older winners. Too. That is, yeah. Both of them. Bianca Del Rio. Oh, yeah. What can you even say? I mean, yeah, that lineup, like, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> They're all still out there killing it. They're all still doing their damn thing. Oh, yeah. I think that from what I remember back on Natalia Season, she also has another business besides drag that provides like, you know, that makes her wealthy. Oh, okay. Cause she was like, her character was wealthy, but then from what I remember, she was wealthy in real life too. So, oh, okay. Gotta have the side hustle too, I guess. <laughs> 41, so we're skipping quite a few ages. So even though we yes. just had a large peak there, that will be the last peak. Uh, Cause we're now at 41 with Chad Michaels and Vanessa Van Cartier over on Drag Race Holland yes. season two. Oh God, I mean, what can you say? The level of polish is ridiculous. Yeah. It really is. It makes sense. Vanessa being yeah. a, a former Miss Continental, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. And she's Envy Peru's mother, drag mom. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So the only two winners of Holland are uh, mother and daughter. Oh, that is such a slay. That's pretty iconic. There's only one more on the list, which would be our oldest queen. Okay, just one. Yep. Our oldest queen to ever win is Sharon from Drag Race Espana season two. Okay. 45 years old. Just like Chad and like Vanessa, the level of polish and perfection, like, she never faltered even remotely. She right. was so perfect at every challenge. I think, you know, when people do those, I'm sure you've seen them on Instagram, where people will do like best average, best point average. Yeah. She has the best average ever from any Drag Race franchise. Uh, in okay. Terms of how she did in the challenges. Because she's placed top so much. Top. I think she only plays safe even once. Dang. But never lower bottom. So like, imagine. That's a pretty good accomplishment. Right. Your uh, entire accomplishment. season <laughs> being just perfect. She was drag perfection. She was ready. Okay. That's what I think is cool about some of the older queens. Because now, I have to look at, like, if I were to audition, I'd have to look at the queens 35 and up. And okay, say, okay, yes. What would be my narrative? But there's some... Maybe at 37, I'll win, because there was quite a few yes. people there. I, an iconic spot. I'm rooting for that for you. You'll be in that grouping with <laughs> all who, those icons. Whose was yours, like, 20, 26, 27? Yeah, mine was 26. So, like, Willow, which is pretty new. With Willow and Electra. the Vivian. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty that's iconic a pretty good spot. grouping. <laughs> so, now that we've looked at everyone's ages, we have to look at the queens from our current season to see where they would fall. Ooh, yes. If they were to win. So, here's everyone still in the competition. Anetra, okay. 25. Lucy LaDuca, 32. Lux Noir London, 22. Wow. Malaysia Baby Doll Fox, 32. Marsha, 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 25. This is the one that gagged me. Mistress Isabel Brooks is only 24 years old. I, I saw that online somewhere, and that shocked me. I had to check that in multiple different locations. Not because she looks old. She just has that, like, old-school pageant vibe about her. Like, she just knows who she is, and she delivers. Selena, 31. And then 37, which is a very iconic age on this chart. Oh. It is Miss Sasha She Colby. could add to that grouping. So if she wins, then it would, 37 would be the age where the most queens have won Drag Race. Okay, so that would be five then. Yeah, because there's like, what, three or four spots where there was four queens? 28, 29, and 37 are the ones where we've had four queens win. Okay. And so, yeah, so Sasha would be the only one that could add to one of those. Right. Which would be 37. And how iconic would it be if, like, one of the older ages is where we have our most winners that would be good you always see like the older queens do so well so i don't know why they don't like integrate having more older queens like i feel like they keep getting younger and younger it's like well that's for television yeah to, to, i guess for ratings because the kids love the show and they but like even people... like the older queens it's like they bring so much more personality sometimes but i guess they can't relate as much to... and if you have people like for instance this the season that when we looked at sharon there was never even a glimmer of competition yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, she was that good. So, like, even if you bring one in sometimes that's perfect to drag, right. it can make it feel, like, too lopsided. Too obvious, So, it's like, a, yeah. I'm sure for casting, it is a, a real difficult balance. That but is But honestly, true. this season, I think there's only a couple, even though there's eight still in there, where I can actually see them winning mm -hmm. at this point. But Sasha is the top of my list. Oh, yeah. And right behind her is Mistress. Yeah. I would def I for me, I 
they're like neck and neck to me. Yeah. I would like, I would either way, I would be happy. Based on how the season's gone, I don't see Lucy, Malaysia or Marsha winning. It's funny or that Selena. Malaysia and Lucy are the same age. And also it's a look like Lux, I guess personality wise, she does give that, but look wise, she has her look down. Like, she mm -hmm. is slaying it. So, it's kind of shocking yeah. that she's only 22. Some of the season 15 queens went to Chicago to see Aww. Jinx Monsoon. It's weird because when you say go to Chicago, it sounds like you're saying go to the city of Chicago. Yeah. They went to the play in New York City on Broadway to see Jinx at Chicago. That is so cool. Lux was one of, one of them, though. And Marsha. So Icon supporting icons. Maybe it'll be like that good... Good luck meeting her. Oh, yes. Meeting they the shook wife, her hand, and now maybe they'll... <laughs> it's been funny to see some of the pictures. I don't know if you've seen this on Instagram, where, like, so many of the queens from the show, like, all over the world, have been going to see Jinx. And the pictures are, like, they're in front of someone uber famous, which she is, <laughs> but, like, Jinx doesn't carry that kind of energy. Right. But in this light, it looks like they're meeting the queen the way they're lined it up. It does, yeah. You know, like... With the lighting in the back. Like, it does. They're on, like, a set for something really and important. And she's like, hello. Yeah. He, like, it's just so cute. I don't know. I love that for her. It makes me so happy just seeing all the headlines about, like, how she's, like, bringing in, like, so much more to the show. I love seeing that. I watched her on Good Morning America. They said that the audience, is, I like, yeah. audience has been insane. I watched that too. And she was saying how people have been like coming back to see her and stuff. I love seeing this drag integrated into like the mainstream. And it's about damn time. Yeah. And once they can see, that's what, that's what happens is once they can see that we bring money in, we make money. One of her co-stars was talking about how like they had people that were there to see Jinx and like now they fell in love with musicals. Right. You know, that and now they're going to come back. They're going to expand their own yes. audience bringing queens in. I love it. Well, let us know who you think is going to win season 15 and if their age does play any sort of part of it. Well, based on the pattern, right. it would suggest based that on the pattern, Sasha, Sasha would should win. win. Yeah. And based on my heart and <laughs> my brain, yeah. I would agree with that. I would see. I could see it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to head on out of here for now. And I have one last thing to say. Glad you got to see us. Bye. 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 <laughs>